Hey, what's up, Internet? This is D. You tune in to Real Talk with D. How's it going? Today, I just want to talk to you about one of the most influential books that I have read in probably the past five years. That book is called The Secret. This is truth. Like, I was kind of skeptical at first. Like, I've heard it before. The Art of Positive Thinking. In order to attain what you want, you know, sometimes I've always been a pessimist or a more realist. Thought, yo, that couldn't really work that way. It doesn't happen how they say it does. But this right here, this is the truth. I'm telling you, if you're not a big reader, watch the movie. It used to be on Netflix under the same name as The Secret. Basically, in this book, it tells you that you want to put out the energy you want to receive. If you're always worried about getting in trouble with the law or or failing the test you might fail it because you're putting that energy out it talks about how the universe it thrives on energy right and how how the energy you put out is what will come back to you and it is so true for instance the last three years i was living up north in duluth minnesota if you don't know where duluth minnesota is just google it it's about as far north as you can get from florida without being in Alaska and still be in the United States. I was up there, it's very cold up there. And one year I bought this this sweater, right? In fact, this is the sweater right here that I bought while I was up there in Duluth. It's one of them ugly sweaters, you know? But it but it's a, a Miami sweater, see? It's a Miami sweater. And so I used to rock this sweater around, you know, like around the house or whatever. If I went out sometimes I'd wear it, you know, on game days and stuff. And and so I was just wearing that sweater a lot, you know, and, and, and not thinking much about it. But then later on, I applied for grad school and I reached out to someone in Florida, not just in Florida, but in Miami. And guess what? I got accepted. So this energy type thing, right? It's even subconscious. It's even without you even realizing it, you know? And so I wasn't even thinking nothing about it. I was just wearing it because I'm from Florida, you know, it's, it's cool. I like the colors and whatnot. And then I got to Miami and I pulled it out of my closet earlier today because it's getting a little chilly out here. It's almost uh, Halloween time. And my wife was like, hey, you bought that in Duluth. And I was like, I sure did. And she's like, how does that always happen? You know, we, we want to buying these things or doing these things. And then boom, we're in that situation or we're right there. You know, that's that energy. That's that secret, man. That's the secret, man. So. It's not just what you say, especially what you say, what you put out of your mouth, you know, that's likely to come true. But it's also how you think, you know, you got to go back in your mind. And you got to rewire your brain to stop thinking negatively, to, to, to start thinking positively. And it's hard. And you got to you got to watch yourself all the time to do that. But as soon as you, you rewire it, it's like second nature. It's so smooth. It's 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 just another habit. Right. Every habit took a while to start. And so even good habits are going to take a while to start because you got to change those old habits and turn them into good habits. It's not easy. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Everyone would know the secret. Everyone would be thinking positively. Everyone would be living good. But it's really hard to do. They say there's a million and one ways to do the wrong thing. There's only one way to do the right thing. And that's why it's so hard to stay on that right path, man. It's, it's so hard. There's so many things coming in from each angle that can distract you or throw you off course. But you got to stay vigilant. You got to stay up on your P's and Q's. You got to stay up on game. You got to remember that what you put out, you will get back. You cannot reap what you have not sowed. So you must keep that positive mind frame and it will pay off. Sometimes it comes quick. Sometimes it takes a while like that like that this jacket I bought like I told you the sweater I bought I bought this like two years ago and it took two years to get here to Miami and I wasn't even thinking about coming to Miami it just so happened I bought this jacket and I got here so good things come in time but all things start with positive thinking you think start start with a good mindset and a good mind frame and you take over the world. And remember, every day is a new day to start a new you, to become whoever you want to be. If you used to work, 
Monday through Friday, every day. People used to come into work Monday, all sad, mopey. I hate Mondays. Why are you so mad Monday? Man, I was happy as heck. Monday was my favorite day. Way better than Friday even. People be like, why are you so happy, D? And I was like, look, Monday, it's the start of a new week. I can make this week into whatever I want it to be. Because it's Monday. It's starting fresh. We're going to start today a brand new. So remember, every time you open your eyes, you have a new chance to change your life. Every time you open your eyes, you can do anything you want to do. That day is yours all the time, every time. And it's up to you to make that day what you want it to be. Don't let outside influences influence your world. This is your world, and you can make your world however you want it to be. Believe me on this. Just keep that in your mind. Back to this energy thing, right? It's all about the energy you put out. See, I believe it's Buddhist. See, the Buddhists or Hindus, they believe that the world is just a ball of energy. And each one of us are just manifestations of a little bit of that energy in the world. And so when we die, our energy that's in our body just gets incorporated back into the global energy, the world's energy. And just thinking about that, you think your energy is connected to the globe, to the universe even. You know? And so when you put energy out, the energy around you feels that and the vibrations start moving, you get back the manifestation of the energy you just put out. You want to look at it on a cosmic level? Look at what Carl Sagan said. We're all stardust. All the elements. Look up nucleogenesis. Nucleogenesis says that all the elements were made in stars. It all started with the first element. Look at the periodic table of elements. The first element, number one, hydrogen. Hydrogen started as stars. It created these humongous balls of hydrogen gas. Stars, hot as ever, right? So much energy in there. And when it explodes, it created more elements. This is how the elements are made. It's amazing that... All these building blocks from the periodic table, that's what everything in this universe is made out of. And they were all these building blocks were made from stars. So if you think about it hard enough, we are made from the stars. We are the stars. We are stars that have grown intellectually enough to look up in the sky and ask ourselves what ourselves are. What are the stars? We are the stars. You are the star. So thanks for tuning in. I hope to see y'all back here next time when we talk more. Thanks for sticking with me on this journey. And until I see you again, stay strong and stay beautiful.